Welcome back. Let's go to the scores and highlights, starting with a game in Orlando today. The Magic hosting the Houston Rockets and Rudy T's team looking to bounce back from a loss to Miami, but it didn't happen. Penny Hardaway had something to say about that. Hardaway, the Magic by three at the half and in the third quarter, all Orlando. Bo Outlaw following Hardaway's miss with a monster jam and Scottie Pippen tossed from the game. Orlando wins in a route, 109-83 to go 5-0 and at home. Sacramento at Minnesota. Chris Webber's streak of eight straight double-doubles ended today. Missed it by one board. Stephon Marbury lit up the Kings this afternoon. Early in the third quarter, the feed from Kevin Garnett. 65-48 T-Wolves. And now off the errant Jason Williams pass, Anthony Peeler ahead to Marbury for another one. He had 23 points, 15 assists. Minnesota wins it by 12. The T-Wolves also 5-0 at home. Detroit at San Antonio. Rough day for the Pistons. The injured Grant Hill, Jerry Stackhouse, a combined 8 of 34 from the field. Second quarter, Spurs on the run. Malik Rose, the feed to David Robinson. San Antonio led by 16 at the break. Third quarter, Mary O'Elley getting a start today. The lay-in draws the foul, finished with 16 points. Spurs win it easily, 85-64, holding the Pistons to their lowest point total in franchise history. Frustrating season for the Bulls and Tim Floyd. Lost six in a row coming into Madison Square Garden. Allen Houston, awesome. Hit his first four three-point attempts. Ten straight overall to tie a Knicks record. New York led by as many as 15 in the first half. And then Houston down the stretch on the drive. Game high, 26 points. Knicks went on to win it by 16. After starting the season 0-2, they are 6-1. and Boston and Washington. Rick Pitino's Celtics. Led by as many as seven early on, but they didn't shoot well. Just 33% in the first half, and the Wizards on the run. Mitch Richmond, Juwan Howard, give and go. Richmond had 25 points, Wizards with a five-point lead. They finished the half on a 13-2 run, capped by Rod Strickland's beautiful reverse. He finished with 20 points, nine assists, nine rebounds, coming close to a triple-double. Washington wins it, 86-75. And the inaugural game at the Air Canada Center, Vancouver and Toronto. The Raptors kick it off with a win. Charles Oakley, alley-oop to the rookie. Vince Carter, 14 points for Carter at the half. Raptors by 10, more Carter. This time from the outside, three-pointer from the corner. He had 27 points, six rebounds, five assists, four steals, and two blocks. He did it all. Raptors win by 15, 102 to 87. And one other game in progress right now. The Nets and the Pacers nodded at 41. Reggie Miller held without a field goal, over six in that game so far. Keith Van Horn leads the Nets with 12. And in the game you're watching, the Sonics over the Lakers, 46 to 37. Isaiah Thomas must know a thing or two about basketball because you told us that Olden Polonese would be the key for Seattle in this one. Yeah, this is why Seattle went out and acquired Olden Polonese because he can defend Shaq in the middle. Shaq is 5 for 14 right now, but more importantly, Polonese has 12 points and 10 rebounds, and he's allowed Vin Baker to move to the power forward position, which frees up Vin Baker. And now Baker's got 11 points. As much talent as the Lakers have, you can see why they're not blowing apart the Western Conference. Kobe Bryant made a great shot over Hersey Hawkins. They were down two points at that point, 30 to 28. Next trip up court, he forces a shot without sharing the ball at all with anybody. So the next three times down court, Shaq gets the ball. What does he do? He forces three shots. One results in a turnover. The Sonics go on a 9-2 run. If I'm his teammates and the coach, Del Harris, I'm angry at this kid. You got to straighten him out. Share the ball. Neither of them is shooting well. Combined just 10 for 20. Tonight, what with all the vulnerable ankles at risk?